Do you think about where you stand when you're giving a presentation? Have you ever thought about how you move around on the stage affects the people who are listening to you or your audience? And could you link the locations where you stand to different feelings? Give you a quick example. I was watching a presentation reason, recently where a salesman started his presentation and he spoke about the credit crunch, the difficulties in the economy, the problems that we're all having and the bad things that are going on. He then changed the presentation to speak about holidays, going away, going to the beach, going to Disneyland, all sorts of different things. And he stood in a different part of the stage. He continued his pitch. And when it came to talking about his competitors, he moved on stage and stood in the same place that the credit crunch story was. Now, what he was trying to do was to link subconsciously the area where the credit crunch was to his competitors. And where do you think he stood when he was talking about his product and his pricing? You've guessed it. Exactly where he spoke about holidays. He evoked the good memories, the good feelings, and he subconsciously linked those to his price and his pitch. So how could you use this when presenting? Well, move about on the stage, lay your states and emotions out as you talk, and then stand in the most powerful state and the most powerful emotion when you want people to take action. And that will help to make your presentations far more dynamic, interesting and engaging.